Okay, this is Ted here with a test of a winterization. Uh, my buddy Rich was kind enough to uh, let me winterize his Mercruiser uh, 454. And uh, what we did is we ran uh, the antifreeze through the muffs like a lot of people do um, and drained it um, so that there was no antifreeze or anything left in the engine but for the folks who do leave antifreeze in the engine I wanted to run this test to see uh, what actually um, ends up in your engine uh, typically uh, as to uh, how much antifreeze is actually in there uh, what concentration and uh, will it actually freeze so this is the sample I took from the port exhaust manifold uh, this is from the uh, engine block and this is from the uh, starboard manifold. Um, so I will note that uh, this particular engine did not have the, uh, the uh, routing to the risers, um, which a lot of engines do. So everything flowed out from the engine up through the manifolds and out the elbows, um, which is, is probably a, a, a benefit. Uh, to uh, winterizing uh, in this way so anyways I'm going to stick these in the freezer uh, today um, and uh, let them sit overnight and I'll check them in the morning all right so here we go putting these into the freezer And there they will stay for the night. Um, I used fairly small samples so that it would, uh, basically if it wanted to freeze, it would do so overnight. Uh, so we'll check these in the morning. Okay, it's the <clears throat> next morning. I'm gonna take a look at these samples. As you can see, it's uh, minus, 15 maybe in the freezer and I'm just going to take the samples out and then also I have a pure antifreeze sample <clears throat> so here are the three samples from the Engine. This is the. Uh, this is what's in the block. Pretty well frozen. And this is the uh, port manifold. Somewhat. Somewhat uh, squishy. This is the other manifold, and this is really. This one's really hard frozen, as is this one. And the uh, pure antifreeze, as you can see, 15 below. It's it's kind of squishy. It's more like more like a snow cone, but it's certainly not liquid at that point. So, anyways, if you left that in your block in your engine, you know you might have some problems. That's why. Uh, that's why people say to drain it, even even if you run antifreeze through it, um, just to purge it or whatever, give it a coating. You do want to uh, drain it because if it gets to 20 below or 30 below, you probably freeze. And <clears throat> that freezing could uh, could cause some damage. Um, these things, uh, you know, the uh, minus 50 isn't supposed to, uh, you know, have bursting pressure until it gets to minus 50. But with a slight dilution of water, you know, that could be minus 20 for all you know. Um, anyways, as these things prove, these are <clears throat> these are much more solid than uh, than the pure antifreeze. So obviously there was water uh, still diluting these, uh, even though. You know it had been run through the engine um, some water remained and uh, 
therefore you get a harder much harder more frozen so you could end up with some damage if you didn't drain the block 